Hello friends, welcome back to the talk. In this video, we are going to discuss about a security feature of WebLogic server, which is called network connection filters. So how we secure our applications when we talk about the WebLogic, where we deploy a lot of applications and we wanted to secure our applications at different levels, like the at domain level, where we want to protect all of our applications or maybe to a particular specific application level or a application component level okay so for that we have a different kind of a security roles and security policies options in weblogic server that we can define to protect our applications at different levels okay so but when we talk about the connection filter so it is a, another feature that you can say it is provided by weblogic which is a network layer security and why we are calling it as network layer security because it can protect your resources from a specific ip address or ip address range okay specifically in terms of applications as i said that we have a different kind of a security and roles where we can create different kind of a users and groups and then we can define different kind of policies that what kind of a group of users uh, will have access of certain kind of applications and in what kind of a conditions and okay but when we talk about the connection filter so you can filter the access to your applications at the network level Okay, so for example, if I would like to block a certain kind of a connection, that means that is coming from a certain IP or IP range uh, to access our WebLogic server resources, to access our admin console, EM console, or maybe some applications that we have deployed in our application server that we can configure with the help of connection filters. And that I am going to show you in the next few screens how we can configure a different kind of a roles for this. Okay, so these connections filters allow and deny and deny unwanted access to resources. Okay, so this is you can say it is a kind of a feature that is provided by your uh, different kind of a firewall kind of a uh, software. Okay, firewall hardware. Okay, the same kind of a feature that is with the WebLogic where you can block certain kind of a connections or you can allow certain kind of a connection which is coming from a specific IP or different IP ranges. Okay, as I said, for example, these can be used in blocking an IP address in accessing the admin console of WebLogic server. Now, when we uh, uh, configure a connection okay a connection filter in weblogic server for that we have to use a certain specific security class okay when we go for the configuration and that is the weblogic.security.net.connectionfilter impl okay this is the inbuilt class of weblogic which is provided with the uh, the weblogic server installations okay that so when you go for the configuration of connections filters you just need to copy paste and then specify this particular class in a field that you will see in the configurations okay and this is the location where you can specify the connection filter class and the connection filter rules when you go for the weblogic console to go to console click on your domain name on the left side then click on the security tab and then click on filter so there you will see the two options or two important uh, uh, options you can say when you go for the uh, configurations of security features one is called a connection filter so when we talk about connection filter so you have to specify the file name that i have uh, given on the screen which is weblogic.security.net.connectionfilter.impl apart from that second thing you have to specify the rules so as i said if you want to block the connections uh, from certain ip addresses Right, so then you need to specify like from which IP address or which IP range you want to block the connections and to which port you want to block the connections, you want to allow or deny the connections and on which protocol, either HTTP, HTTPS, T3 or whatever protocol that you wanted to uh, deny for uh, some specific IP or IP address ranges. Okay, so this is a connection filter and this is the connection filter rule. So these are the two important parameters that we need to configure for when we go for the configurations of the network security channel. For the WebLogic server. Now, so when we talk about the connection filter syntax, okay, what is the syntax of connection filter? The syntax is target address, space the local address, space local port, and then space action, and then space protocol. It's very straightforward. Okay, for example, target address is that specify the address from which you want to block the connections. Okay, so as I, so you can see in the screen, the, I have specified 0.0.0.0 slash .0, .0, 0, then star star deny HTTP and HTTPS. Okay, the star means all okay everything okay so first target address is you specify one or more systems to filter if you wanted to block a, a connection to a particular IP address then this is the uh, ip address of your target you can say okay the second is your local address so what exactly means so local address this is the machine or the server uh, in which your weblogic server is running 
okay so you can say this is the ip address of the machine in which your weblogic server is running there could be multiple ip addresses if there are multiple nic cards and atta- attached to your machine there would be a multiple ip addresses or you could have uh, maybe uh different kind of a virtual kind of a configurations where you can have multiple addresses on your machine uh, multiple ips assigned to your machine so in that case you have to specify the ips here for the local machine on which your web logic server is running local port is the port on which you want to deny or allow the connection for example if you want to de- deny any kind of a connections on your web logic admin port which is running on 7001 then this will be the port 7001 action action would be allow or deny if you wanted to allow the connection or if you wanted to deny the connections and the last one is the protocol which protocol you want to deny the connection okay if it is a http call it is a https call t3 call t3s call ldap calls or iiop calls or different kind of a protocols that is supported by the web logic so if you have a this kind of a, you wanted to block any kind of a this kind of a call then you can specify as that well so for example if we know that we access the applications uh, we deploy on the web logic server especially the web applications with the help of browser with the http or https request okay so you can uh, if you wanted to deny or allow certain kind of connections then you can specify the ip the protocol as http or https and if you wanted to uh, allow or deny the direct call from the client which uh, which which is the jvm to jvm call which is not a browser based call and for that we use a t3 protocol okay you want to deny the certain kind of a connection from a certain ip range okay then you can specify with the t3 protocol so these are the rules that you can specify in the connection filter syntax okay so now in the few next screen we will see how we can uh, uh, define this connection filter rules okay so connection filter as i said you can copy paste the uh, the class that i have given to you on the screen after that in fact the connection filter rules you have to specify the connection so what i have specified on the screen as of now is 0.0.0.0/0 this what is exactly slash zero is i will i, I will explain in the, my last slide okay so as of now you can consider it that i have given the condition as all the ip addresses okay from wherever the request is coming okay for that then star and then star and then i so local for local address i have a specified star that means all the ip addresses that are assigned to my machine on which my web logic server is running next star is about that uh, as i said in the previous screen this is about here local port okay so i have a special local port as all okay that means i have a specified the star that means all the ports okay which whatever is occupied in my machine okay and then the deny i would like to deny the connections and then i haven't specified the protocol so if you are not going to specify anything that will, it will by default it will take all that means whatever the protocols are there supported by the web logic all will be denied okay that means every request to this web logic server will getting denied so that means if i will go to access my admin console even after configuring this rule that i would not able to access my admin console because i have given the protected rule as all the request that is coming from anywhere will have to be denied right so now what will happen in that case if i will save this configuration i will go to access my admin console then you will see this kind of a exceptions on the screen which is a weblogic.security.net.filter exception with the security code 090220 and then socket connection 000445 that means a uh, network connection filter in your weblogic is denying the request so now why i am not, not able to access the even the admin console because i have specified the rule in my connection filter as all the ip addresses so the request which is coming for any of the ip addresses will get denied on all the ports and all the local ip address and all the protocols right so now if you go to config.xml directory then you will see a connection filter entry is added there where you will see the connection filter name which is again as i said weblogic.security.net.connectionfilter.impl inside that you will see a connection filter is rule is added whatever i have given on the screen right because now i have added to show you that this is uh, to deny all the connection to my weblogic so now i am not able to access my admin console as well so what we can do to avoid this one or to to re- revert revert back this configuration is we can just delete this entries from the config.xml file okay and once it is deleted you can reboot your weblogic server and you can able to access the weblogic console once i have removed the entry from the config.xml so this is the way how we can configure the different kind of a, uh, rules okay so now when we go for the configurations as a standard practice okay so protect your servers and allow only connection from a certain ip addresses you specify the rule 0000/0 star star deny so when, whatever the connections that you are going to be allow in your weblog server make sure after defining all the rules you can specify this particular rule at the last of the all the rules okay so this will deny all the connections except whatever you are going to be allowed 
what does that mean for example i only wanted to allow the connection to access my uh, web logic server resources which is running on the protocol https okay and in the screen you can see that i wanted to allow this request from the ip address which is 192.168.0.4 Okay, so if the request is coming from this IP, then I would allow the connection to HTTPS protocol. But apart from that, any other request I am going to be denied. So I have to add this particular entry at the last of all the. So similarly, you can have multiple rules alert there where you are allowing the connection from certain connections. You are denying the connections, but at the last of the all the rules, you have to specify this particular rule, which is zero 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 slash zero star star deny. This is a standard practice when we go for the. Connection filter configurations. Okay, so let us come in the classless inter-domain routing CIDR notification. So I have posted a very big uh, 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 video on with the detailed explanation on CIDR notifications in my channel. Okay, some time back you can go for that. But as of now, to understand in a short duration, what exactly mean of that when we specify the slash zero or sl slash with certain number with along with the IP address is that that we are specifying a IP range. Okay, so for example, you can, if you can see in the screen, I have specified 10.74.112.0 slash 30. So what exactly means that 10.74.112.0 is understandable. It is an IP, but what exactly, what exactly is slash 30? So that means we are specifying a range of IP addresses. Okay, this is the way. Uh, to assign multiple ip addresses with the scalability options in a subnet okay so subnet is a group of different computers like you know that we have a network where we have multiple computers are connected with each other inside the network we can again have us different subnets okay sub networks which we can say the subnet which is again a grouping of certain computers okay for example if i will assign 10 ip to a subnet that means i have i can create 10 machines inside my subnet but tomorrow i may need more IP, more uh, computers or more uh, computes inside that particular subnet so for that we this is a scalability options where you can specify reserve certain kind of ips for your subnet okay and how it works that i will show you in a small example for example sider i have given 10.74.112.0.30 right so now you can see that uh, the total what is the total ip addresses in this particular sider i can assign to my machine so last digit is 30 i will subtract this 30 from 32 because 32 is the largest bit that is allowed in ip address so 32 minus 30 is 2 right so when i will go for the 2 raised to the power 2 2 square okay it is coming as 4 that means in this particular ip range i will have uh four ips okay that will be starting from 10.74.112.0 and it will go till 10.74.112.3 from 0 to 3 that means total four ip address okay and what would the ip address is in that case is 10.74.112.0.1.2 and .4 and this is the cider notification this when we are specifying the slash that means we are specifying a range of ip addresses okay and how we can calculate the what is the total number of ips that is assigned to a particular cider is that Take the digit that is given in the last last part of the slash, subtract that digit from the 32. So whatever it is coming, make it as a two raised to the power of the of the difference that you have got, and that would be the number of IPs that is generating in that particular CIDR notification. So in that case, if I will specify this IP address in my connection filter, that means I am going to block my uh, access to my web logic resources from the four IP addresses, which is as shown on the screen. Dot zero. Dot one. Dot two. And dot See, so this is how this your network connection filters. Okay, if you have any questions and queries, write back to me on digitalk.fmw.team at gmail.com. I will try to get back as soon as possible.